when you think of somebody that's hungry, you think of the homeless person that's out on the corner of the street or on the street corner asking for coins. That's not really true. Today, it's typically a woman, her children. She has a full-time job, but there's never enough money at the end of the month. So while she's working and working and working, she never seems to be able to get ahead of that curve, never seems to have enough food in the house. It's hard on families because anytime resources are short, you have to decide, where do I spend my dollars? They try to take care of everything else before they get to food. People having to make decisions as to whether to pay their light and gas bill, whether to pay a phone bill, whether to pay, uh, pay their rent. My husband, he ended up getting hurt on the job. So he wasn't able to work no more. And I ended up having to step in and start working myself. I end up being pregnant and they let me go. So I was living on unemployment with by people in the house. People don't realize that hunger hurts. Um, it takes the joy away from people, takes the hope away from people. It starts playing with your emotions. That's stressful enough, but when you can't provide for your family, that's when the stress really gets going. Because you're the one that's supposed to provide, supposed to protect, supposed to make sure they're got everything they need and then when you can't provide that meal it just shuts you down there's lots of ripple effects across the country from people that are hungry and destitute you think about if you're hungry uh, the hungrier you get what are you gonna do are you gonna steal something or what are you gonna do to fill that need I personally have five daughters and if my daughters couldn't eat the laws wouldn't mean much. I have to get food however I have to get it. And I would, I would presume that a lot of parents would begin to think like that. We are a food bank. We're the wholesaler. We collect the food, sort it, and send it out to 350 agencies. Gleaner serves a major portion of central Indiana and it provides food to food banks, to outreach programs in a multitude of counties in Indiana to meet that vital community need. Think of an hourglass, and so Gleaners is collecting from a lot of different places, and they are the distribution point at the pinch, and then they distribute back out to a lot of food pantries and other entities. A food pantry is a local, either church-related, a faith-based organization, a community center, a soup kitchen. They're usually in the neighborhood, and they come to us and then we work with them to fulfill their needs as far as food is concerned. We have had the food pantry here for three years. The food pantry provides a security. Families sometimes have an emergency and they come to me and they say, can you open up the pantry and I'm able to feed them? And there's such a sense of relief to that. Working with Gleaners has been a phenomenal experience. They're able to help me get my orders through. They help facilitate delivery, and our families need that consistency. Gleaners has been in existence 32 years. We were begun by an entrepreneur and a group of uh, concerned citizens that dreamt of what Gleaners could be. Very humble beginnings, and moved after five or six years um, into the facility uh, over at 16th Street. It outlived its functional usage, and so we moved into our great new state-of-the-art facility here at Gleaners. This is a 300,000 state-of-the-art facility where you can drive in to pick up your food. Um, multiple bays, refrigerators and freezers to beat all. We have an effective racking system, we have a scanning system, so it really does give us state-of-the-art ability to serve our community. In these facilities, we have a food pantry. We have a lot of different services that we provide directly. Backsacks is one of our premier programs. It's a backpack full of nutritional meals for a child to take home on a Friday afternoon that will enable them to eat over the weekend. Today we're doing about 10,000 a week. Getting them backsacks every Friday gives me more options and most things that they put in the backsacks I love. It's beneficial to parents like me. My son personally, he, he loves it. He lights up every time. He enjoys it. We have the CSFP or Commodity Supplemental Food Program. 
We put together 40 pound boxes every month for senior citizens. We're currently siphoning about 2,600 seniors. This is a supplemental food program that allows the seniors to enjoy their food for that month to add to the food that they might have. Mobile Pantry is born out of the idea that everybody can't make it to a pantry. It takes it to them, which is even more important because you don't have a car, you don't have money to get on the bus. Have a wonderful weekend. Our school-based pantry provides a pantry in a school for the children and for their families to access food. This program has really allowed the schools to encourage the children and their families to get engaged with the school, to be a part of what's going on in the children's education and also fueling their bodies. The more volunteers we get to help, the less money we have to spend to hire somebody to pull product to, to service a, a truck or what have you. So we do rely on a lot of volunteers. At Gleaners, we have a staff of just about 70 people. There is no way we can run our facility and do all that we do with 70 employees. Our volunteers are the lifeblood of our organization. FedEx is a corporate partner uh, with uh, Gleaners Food Bank of Indiana. We have our, our big event, which is called FedEx Cares Day, that we do. 500 to 1,000 volunteers come over, sometimes more, from all of the FedEx operating companies, and we volunteer. There's thousands of volunteers throughout the year, and the, the calculation of what they would have to do without those volunteers would be to come up with you know, a million dollars or more. Well, that's money that can be spent to provide food directly to people, and the volunteers are crucial. Many hands make light work, and the more hands, the better. So we're always looking for more and more volunteers. Most of us have been blessed in various ways, sometimes without having uh, to experience hunger. And so I think we have kind of a moral imperative to uh, give back. Where would the people be that need it? Where would they be? Plus, if you were in their shoes, wouldn't you want people to donate? Nobody rises without food. You can't, have, you can't get an education without food because you can't learn. You can't work without food because you can't work. You can't be a good mother. You can't be a good father. You can't be a good uh, student. You can't be a good person. You can't do anything unless you're first eating it. You don't want to even think what people would not have if it weren't for Gleaners. Without Gleaners, many of our families would go hungry. If Gleaners was not here, um, I could tell you I don't know what a lot of people would do. Without Gleaners, I know personally there would be times with my family we wouldn't have no food on the table. Without Gleaners, we couldn't operate. We literally could not operate if, if we didn't have the support of Gleaners. There's not enough words to say thank you. There's not enough ways to show the gratitude that we have for them. To the people that donate to Gleaners, they're angels.